Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. Today we are within Gmail, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Gmail autoresponder message. So if you're going on vacation or you're going to be away for a while, you need to set up an autoresponder within your Gmail that will kick back every time someone shoots you an email. That way they know you're not ignoring them. So in order to do that, open up, log into your Gmail account, go to the little gear icon in the upper right-hand corner that says settings, click on that little guy and then scroll down until you see settings. It's right above themes and below configure inbox. Click on settings. Once you're there, you are gonna wanna go ahead and stay on the general tab here underneath settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page uh, beyond your signature and all of that good stuff. You're going to see something down here that says vacation responder. Okay, so you can turn this off or you can turn this on. Obviously, we're going to be turning it on because I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you wanna do is the first day, this is going to be when the autoresponder starts. So we're gonna go ahead and start the autoresponder today, the 9th of February, 2017. And then you want to go ahead and set up the last day. So if you're going to get back from vacation, let's say a week from today, the 16th of February, we can do that for a whole week. And then you can go ahead and give a subject to your autoresponder. Now the subject's going to be what comes up in the subject line of the other person's email. So whoever's sending you an email will get this email sent to them with whatever you put here in the subject as the title of that email. So you probably want to put something like, I'm away from my desk or away from the office from this time to this time. And then you can go ahead and type the actual content of the message as to why you're away here and kind of who you want them to get in contact with if it's an emergency. Now, you can also click a checkbox here that says only send a response to people in my contacts. So if random people you don't know are sending you emails, it won't send this autoresponder to them and kind of let them know uh, more about their, you know, your life than they probably should. You can click and check that if you want to. You can even go here and remove the last day and set up an autoresponder if you have an old email account and you've changed your email to another email account. You can leave the autoresponder on for eternity and let people know in the message that you've got a new email address. Now, if you have any questions about how to do this within Gmail, guys, please let me know. And then obviously when you're done, you'll have to scroll scroll up or down and click save changes here at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to cancel because I am not away or on vacation. So if we go over here and we're back to normal when someone sends the email to you, you will now have an autoresponder sent to them. Hopefully you guys learned something in today's video. If you did, go on over and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. It is free. And guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.